Hello everyone, Yoreko is here and today we are going to make a 4 act of the event the Shark Crimes at the Dragon. So we'll start with a short uh, story, which is basically connected with Albedo and Cross today. And so far we were looking for the Albedo, as you can see, but we met the crows. And now they will just, yeah, I will make the spoilers, they will tell her uh, some things which they shouldn't, or maybe Albedo didn't want. I wonder why Albedo did want to keep that uh, in the secret, but well, maybe he has his own reasons, right? Later, the crows got to know about the sword and everything we told her, and she wants to see that interaction and so on. On uh, after this battle, we are going to meet Albedo. Uh, of course, after a short talk with the crows, which will lead us to the top of the, I mean, not top of the mountain, but some kind of area. We met them, some kind of guy, which we met, uh, Iriel, uh, he is a bit of scared, and then we encounter some enemies again, and this time we can see Fatty, of course Fatty are everywhere, so on, they deserve a kick in the butt, and we will do, of course, Paimon is getting a bit of funny, uh, as always, it's my favorite character in Kenshin Impact, and I want her to be play Able as a true fighter. I am bet she will do great. <laughs> so yeah, the, first, the fight with Hattu is not that bad. You're fighting first a witch and later a free Heartbreakers. Not Heartbreakers, but more difficult ones. Now... We talk a bit with Albedo, which got to know that we told Sucrose everything, and that's basically. Ah, uh, he's a bit of. He doesn't seem be mad, but. Uh, yeah, the, still he is suspicious. He's really suspicious. He's like a mysterious character which keeps some secrets. And here we are telling him everything we told Sucrose everything, and he's just like, Yeah, did you did tell everything? Uh, a bit, a bit. <laughs> As you can see, the guy in the background is still just crawling, like, what the heck, he's freezing. So, not sure why he was freezing that much. Uh, maybe because of the Sub-Zero climate, why he was here, I have no idea, he could just go away. And so, Sucrose so is trying to cheer him up in the background, and we are still talking Albedo, and he is not angry, he says, which is kind of suspicious, but, as you can see, a sword is giving some great uh, flashing energy, Seems like it's improved after the fight with the uh, Fatui. So here we can think that it's gonna be some really great power, but this guy, this guy just thinks that the fireplace, like really? A fire? A purple fire? Are you serious? I know it's a magic word, but are you serious? That <laughs> But I don't want to say stupid. And so on the sword is on the floor, on the ground. And awakes the Rekisi Kryo Flower. Which is basically a great version of the original origin, original uh, Rekis wine. Oh my gosh, I can't even spell. <laughs> so you can see he is pretty mad, oh he is totally mad, so after this short cutscenes we have a fight, which is kind of different from the even fight, but you will see, you will see, uh, the difference is really 
reload. The fight is... This fight is not that bad, to be honest. But uh, if you have weak fire characters, uh, like I have only the Xanin, then it's a bit more difficult. The dialog of course, everyone who has dialog here will be so happy. He's amazing here. Uh, one of best supports for this boss is Bennett. He's uh, healing and fire team. He's making fire damage. He's boosting attack. It's a really cute character to uh, help the fight here. Well, I'm struggling here, here a bit. <laughs> Trying to do this and this, even boosting with Mona, and the, as you can see, Xanli is doing the most damage with my Wishu, which are just focusing uh, right now on the laying on the ground flower. And so, uh, this uh, red stones, uh, you will use them mostly when you when you are playing on the event version, not on the story, because on the story this is, of course, it's increasing the damage against the uh, flower, uh, but yeah, it's not that useful yet. I think it's useful when you want to just gather that and hit the uh, core of the flower. <laughs> uh, you need to remember also about the uh, or when there is a warning about the storm, you need to uh, hit the crystal, which will allow you to make a shield and you will just hide there. Uh, it's very really effective uh, defense. You will not get any damage basically. And see, it's not that difficult. Uh, it's just need a patient and taking a look at the moves of the. Uh, creature because uh, the thing is that uh, it can literally take you a normal amount of the HP so just be aware of his moves and just avoid them and don't stand in the eyes it's, it's like just see how my HP is dropping that's just horrible but so on, I defeated him and we can move to the story, uh, back to the story where Alpeto is literally crying about this flower. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, it's cultrified, uh, right? And there is a new theory about the corruption, but there wasn't enough corruption, so the flower literally, you know, died out. And so on story finished, we can move to the true part of the event. Here we have the options single player and co-op. We are doing single player. Uh, I did most of the time co-op, uh, which is uh, much more uh, easy. I know on the co-op you have more difficult versions of the monsters and it's kind of more difficult uh, itself boss. Uh, but uh, it's much more easier when you have a good players with fire characters. Uh, also, the difference in this event is that uh, you are literally uh, teleported to new location. I mean, a new area which is online, even when you are playing on the single player. So you can't pause the game, you can't just eat your food just like that, kill yourself. That's uh, one of the difficulties. And uh, as you can see on the event version, boss had a shield, which you need to defeat by getting the threat stones and eating uh, the, the ice. Even though, uh, you need to remember to not hit uh, any other enemies on the way, or else the effect of the stone will disappear. It's working the same way as refilling the stones on the map. So fight is, pretty, uh, fight is pretty the same and dealing some nice damage and I will therapy this part even though it's my last fight for this event. I mean last fight for this act because the first act I didn't finish yet. It's the grinding so I'm grinding just uh, occasionally while doing the act or doing other things. 
uh, not much left, so I guess it would be uh, easy to uh, do it. Even so, uh, if you are planning to fight that monster with your sword, you can. Uh, it's better to finish the axe so we'll get a buff to your sword. Uh, yeah, this one which Jin is using right now. Uh, I give it to Jean because he's the one, the only one in my party using the sword, and it's an energy recharge, so she can use the sword faster. And her ultimate is also good. Sandlin is really good uh, for this uh, boss with her ultimate. I have the eight level uh, of the talent, and as you could see, it's just making really nice damage. Uh, I'm using only mana for increasing the damage, uh, though I don't, I'm not sure it's the best option to do so. Still, I would advise you to do it for it's much more faster, like literally, alone when you're doing that, alone with weaker characters, or you know, you can have strong characters but not fire ones. Then uh, it will take you 10 more minutes when you're doing that in team, you will make it in a second, maybe in minutes, or, or maybe you're not doing that because you will get the team. <laughs> And so on, uh, and the monster is just lying on the ground and trying to kill that. And here, my patience is just ending. Like, literally, man, you're just letting your characters die, you know? <laughs> Why am I doing that? I just want to kill this uh, flower by rushing at this and angling my two characters, and finally. Xianlin will make the final blow with her spear and see, it's not that difficult if you know the moves, if you know everything you, I could avoid the dying of the two characters uh, Let's just look at the shop uh, and uh, it's going to be the end of the video So in the shop you can see that of almost everything uh, and the axe, which I told you about, so you can see a progress. I uh, got uh, in the act for it was pretty easy, pretty simple to do with the teams in co op. You can just get some friends and do that uh, pretty fast. So I think that's all everything for this video. Uh, it's kind of a different format of the video, like much more commentary. I will try to keep up with the Kenshi Impact uh, events and updates uh, much more on the time because these walls are late, but you know, not much time <laughs> for everything. And I'm planning to also recast some other games. So stay tuned, subscribe, uh, like video. Write comments and happy wishes, lucky wishes. See ya.